Hello my friends, today in open the box I would like to show you Takom Jagdpanzer 38 Hetzer. As you probably know, Takom has released three models with a full interior. We can build an early, mid or late version. Without a doubt it was a good shot because customers are tempted by beautiful box art and a good price. I bought all three models even though I didn't intend to build them with an interior. Only now in Atom 2023 has information emerged that uh, limited edition of these models is also available, but without the interior. This doesn't change the fact that these sets made noise in the modeling world. So far I have built an early and late version. I think I can say anything about these models because my opinion is based on real experience and it's not only on touching the frames with parts and talking nonsense about how cool the model is, blah blah blah. Takom has accustomed us to its quality and it's the same with the Hetzers. However, despite everything I feel a bit disappointed. Maybe because my hopes were too high? I don't know. I already mentioned that the model is good, there is no need to talk about this. Of course, it has its flaws which rivet counters have already found, but for me, above all, it lacks a bit of finesse. All three models are even without the details that will make your jaw drop, but they also have their simplifications that could be improved, just like RFM does. The interior undoubtedly adds a lot of value to this set, because if someone likes building models with these elements, they will definitely be satisfied. For me, these are unnecessary frames that I put aside. Overall, these kits are easy to put together. I didn't find any problems during construction and it can be said that the version without interior is a bit like a weekend edition. I think it can easily be done in two days. The plastic works well and the parts are quite clean and don't require a long working time before they are ready for gluing. Ok, I think that's enough of my talking. Let's take a look at the spruce.
and extra parts. First I used Winter Caton from Quick Tracks. Next are two sets from Uber which are for Dragon models, but I managed to add some parts to this kit. Next wonderful sets from Master Model with Antenna and Machine Gun. Traditionally some towing cables from Eureka XXL and masks for painting wheels from Quick Tracks. These elements increase the quality of the model. And finally it looks like this. In conclusion I can say that even I have some doubts, this model is really good. The price is optimal and the quality is good enough to build eye-catching model. If you are wondering whether to buy it or not, I think it's worth the money. Highly recommend it. That's all for today, see you next time, cheers!